I've been promising to do it for a long time and now I finally got round to doing up this clock for my son. Now as you can see, if you look at the face on the clock, you can see that there's porcelain missing on two sections. It's very dirty in the middle and around there are supports that go on the side pit columns like this and there's a little figure goes on each side so those are the two columns and that's the figure for that side at the other side we've got these two columns and I'll just push it up a little bit to give you an idea so we've got those two columns and that figure at that side and these have come out at the bottom here there's three holes there and there's also three holes there but two of them I haven't been able to undo yet I'm gonna to have to put some WD-40 or something on it to loosen it this is what's come out of the clock itself this is the base there's the winder for it these are some little bits of porcelain that as they dropped off I collected them I never throw anything away the others are just washers and of course there's a pendulum there as well so this piece of wood actually fits under here so you can't see all that mess there when it's done it's just just the piece of wood that you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, all these parts here that are gold and the figures as well I'm going to gold leaf them I've got some old gold leaf and I've been promising to do it for a long time the brass I'm just going to polish up and it's got brass at the top here as well and there's a little um, finial at the top and I move the clock out of the way there's a little brass finial as well there so all the, and they've got little these little nice um, what do you describe them panels little panels with raised copper not copper raised brass figures so all these will all be polished up as well so I'm hoping it's going to be really attractive when it's finished and that's an idea of what the clock looks like of course it's lying down at the moment so I'll keep you informed as I make progress hopefully make progress that is so there we are that's a little project that I'm going to do and that's for my son well it may look a little bit on the messy side but at least I've managed to get all the parts off and you can see they're in a bit of a state they've got brass at the bottom these things that look like bells right and then they've got the figures and the tops of the stanchions there and those are going to have to be gold plated the things that are painted gold there now will be gold plated the brass will be just polished up so you can see now it's quite a task so I've got everything out now I'm really pleased with it the next job will be to find a cleaning solution because this here is a complete mess it's really dirty inside it's got years and years of filth and grime built built up on it and you can see the clock face is damaged there's lots of missing parts here look porcelain I think it is so I'm going to have to find a filler for that I'm going to have to try and color match it as well to match the um, clock face itself so it's quite a quite a little uh, exercise that I've got going for myself now if you look really closely inside this clockworks here it's absolutely filthy so I've got to clean that and I've heard that petrol's a good way of doing it so I found a container here which I just worked out this is just going to fit in nicely so I'm going to put that into there striking away this <laughs> and I put that into there and then I'm going to fill it with petrol and I'm going to leave it overnight and then it should clean out all the de debris and everything off so we should be nice and clean when it comes back in the morning well the deed is done now I've got it filled up 
and I'm going to leave it outside in the shed because you never know the plastic might melt or anything so we'll see what it's like tomorrow well it's been in the petrol overnight now I know a lot of people don't advocate using petrol but I've read up a lot of people have done it and wow that looks a lot cleaner now it's a case of cleaning off all the all the cogs and gears and stuff and you can see there's quite a lot of black stuff in the bottom there which is obviously oil and stuff that's dropped off so I've got myself a little toothbrush here where you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around all all of these cogs and I'm going to clean them all off as well as I can just move that out of the way clean all these cogs off and I'm going to get in there as much as I can and clean them all you can see it's already shining up now as soon as I touch that see the difference wow I'm hoping that's not damaged the porcelain but it doesn't seem to have done so I'm happy with that what I'm going to do now, I won't show it all, all to you, but I'm going to go in and clean each cog and make sure everything's nice and sparkly. Then I'm going to leave it for a day or two to dry off so all the pe petrol can evaporate. So this is uh, a major thing done now, completed. Now that it's dried overnight, it appears to have like a film on it. And you can see that little bit there I'm just trying to shine that little bit up can you see it it's going shiny just with a cotton bud so unfortunately it's going to be a, a very laborious task for me now and I'm going to have to clean this all the way over I'm going to click clean every part of it even these springs appear to have a little bit of dust and can you see that dust and rust there I'm taking off see it you can see it cleaning can't you right so I'm gonna to have to spend whew, I would say a good hour on getting this a little bit ship shape but it's worth doing and you can see inside too there watch that watch that little bit shine up now I know my hand's in the way, but if you look closely that is much shinier when I've gone over it, it's just a little bit shadowy at the moment, so I'm going to have to do it all over, it's just developed this little coating of dust which you can see all over, and obviously that's not going to be good for the workings, it's even on the it's even on the cogs as well so I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that now and we'll, we'll get back to the next stage when this is cleaned off well as you can now observe I've got all the pieces individually taken apart now and these are the parts that are going to be go leafed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get them exceptionally clean and then from there we can put the adhesive on it's special stuff that we need I'll explain it later and uh, we'll we'll have our first attempt at uh, gilding some metal right it's away we go then so there's my piece I'm going to dip it in it's nothing special this it's just hot soapy water and I've got a cotton bud here that I'm going to just use to clean it everywhere this must have not been cleaned for many many years and dip it in a little bit you get the idea I'm just cleaning look at the color of that cotton bud now it's filthy see that that shows how much dirt's come off. I'm going to turn it over now, do the other end. 
I'm trying not to touch the part that I'm cleaning so I'm just holding it at the top and the bottom and obviously I'm going to spend a good half an hour probably I would say trying to get these cleaned so that's one of the tops of the columns done I'm going to put that to dry ah. filthy now that look look at that get another one this time I'm going to do one of the figures so dip it in the hot soapy water and this is going to take a while I'm sure in fact I should really leave it in there to soak a little bit so now away I go and I'm cleaning 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 that's filthy already absolutely filthy look at that lovely shield on the back as well there look right well you don't want to see me doing every one of these now so I'm going to leave it to your imagination now you can see it's quite a a simple process really but as you can look at how black that is now that's absolutely filthy already so so another cotton bud needed Right, I'm going to finish that off now, I'm going to finish them all off and then I'm going to let them dry overnight and then hopefully tomorrow we can start to do some gilding. Well, I'm just about a quarter of a way through now, you can see all the filthy little cotton buds that have got there, the ends are all dirty. So they are coming up clean, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with how it's going. And so I'll show, you, I'll show you the finished item when, it, when they're all washed. The job is done. So they're all nice and clean now. I'm taking care not to touch any bits that I'm going to gild as well. I don't want my fingerprints on there. So I'm going to leave those now overnight to dry. And then tomorrow we should be able to start the gilding. I'm really looking forward to that. Now this is the adhesive that I'm going to be using. It's also known as size. And what you have to do is to put it on with a brush and then you've got to leave it until it sets a little bit. It's around about 30 minutes or so. So it'll go from being a milky colour to being clear. And that's the time when you have to put your gold leaf on. So we're going to do our first experiment very soon. I've just been cleaning this little bit of ceramic around here with just a bit of spit and then when those bits are clean I can put this holding piece back on and then there's a screw that goes into there and I can clean the rest of it off so don't know the names for these bits but you bear with me We'll get it clean one way or the other. I'm really impressed with that now because it's come up nice and shiny all over. Beautiful. Now the next job is to get this fancy piece on here so that the escapement can work again. So it locks into this little wheel at the top here. And it's got these two nuts that have to go back again. Two screws, I should say. Don't drop. Fiddly it is, fiddly. I can just get it started. The jobs are good now. Now make sure that's locked in at the top. That's easier said than done, there it is, now it's locked in. Get the other screw on to secure it now. See if we can get it started a bit. Finish it off with this old screwdriver. Now 
Now is that in or not? Now it's in. Now I can tighten it up. Now we're in. Now the escapement should work again. There we go, see? It'll work. I was wondering how that was going to work, but now I've sorted it out, so that's good. We're going to take a look at what we're going to be dealing with now. Now this is Best English Gold Leaf. And this is a <clears throat> very, very old box that I found once when I was doing some shop fitting. And it was, believe it or not, in a safe in a butcher's shop in Littleborough in Lancashire near Rochdale and I found this old box and when I went inside it had gold leaf now this here is all cleverly wrapped up not gold leaf is don't you it's, it's, it's actual gold that's been hammered out to very very thin and this says 9D a book that's nine pence a book and it says woolly whatever that means August the 2nd or 7 so I assume that that's going to be 19 or 7 and then it's I think that's a shilling a book for S or silver probably one book of silver leaf so this here is actually silver leaf and you can see it's very silver colored so I'm not going to be using the silver leaf and I, I don't even know whether it's good this but it's everything's experimental isn't it so that's going to go away and what I'm going to use is this here which is the gold leaf so let me just tip it out if it'll come out it's been here since I don't know well into the 1900s oh there we go right so let's just take a look at it there we have the gold leaf and it's a little bit thin in parts and it's very very old as well so that's what that's the material we're going to be working with when we get round to the gold leaf in so I'm just going to put it away for now and I don't know whether that's worth anything or, or what but it's very very interesting isn't it so I've got all the parts ready now and I showed you what the size is and I'm going to now paint the size onto one of these To make it easier to work with, what I've done is I've slipped it onto the end of one of these um, statue things and I've put a nut on the end so I can hold that up there and I can now paint that without touching it with my fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. But first of all I have to prepare this size. It's got a lovely picture of Mona Lisa on there, see? But it says that you have to stir it before you do so I'm just shaking it up first I've never dealt with this before and this is a, a brand new container as you can see oh it looks milky I haven't got it off yet <laughs> let's see if get off with it oh I, I weld it oh it is milky Get rid of the rubbish. Wow, I didn't expect that. So I'm sticking to my fingers now. Get off. Okay. I'm just going to stir it up as it says. Well stirred. And then I've got a selection of brushes here. 
So I'll pick a, a soft one for applying this. And I'm going to dip that in there. And I'm going to paint it all over this now. And I'm going to paint it all round. It's quite, th quite thick that. I hope it dries off thinner. Making sure I'm covering everywhere and getting into all little nooks and crannies. Going to be interesting this. That's three sides done. Just got to twist it round for the last side now. It then says that I've got to leave it to dry and become tacky. And that's usually about 30 minutes it says. So I'm going to rest my case there. Take off, just taking off the excess now. And then I'm going to wash the brush out because it recommends you wash it out right away with hot soapy water. Which is what I'll do. So this, I'm going to stand somewhere now, so that it doesn't get damaged. And we'll be back in half an hour. Mm -hmm. 